We're just keeping you up to date. We've almost made it to the peak. I showed you a video earlier of a just a area that was flat overlooking the Carson Valley well. I also showed you the peak was about a few hundred feet away. This is what we've climbed so far. Thousands of loose rocks to get up here. We're going straight up the mountain. Look how steep that is. But uh, beyond that, we gotta, we gotta actually cut through the brush to get up to the top. And there's a couple trees up there, and there's a crown with rocks, so I assume that's the peak. It's the highest point. It's quite a mountain. It's, you know, this is some of the roughest terrain, but we have to do this because who else? Ask, ask the question: Who else is going to do this? Think about it. You know, TV shows. They get catered to, they, you know, they don't hike 10, 20 miles. We do. And this has been a successful investigation. We have hair samples. We have stool samples. We have prints that we found in secluded areas as well as near the trail or on the trail earlier in the investigation. It's, it's just, you know, it's turning into quite an adventure. It's, that's what we are. We're adventurers of the paranormal. And I know people... You know, we don't, we don't get as many hits on YouTube as I'd like because I think people need to see the hard work we do. You know, it's me who's filming this. It's I filming this, Lord Rick. And, you know, we're in the middle of nowhere. It's obvious that, you know, you can look at these mountains and see we, we earned our respect. We climbed up in here and uh, it's very steep and you cannot make a mistake one wrong fall can mean a broken leg ankle and you could be stuck up here and you could die and get eaten by a bear because you're injured you know and uh we don't know what we're going to come across when we get to the peak but it's kind of like a personal feat to add this you know the icing on the cake to the investigation and we'll take scenic photos up there we'll have our dinner and then we're going to try to get off this mountain a different way. And it's, we don't want to go back down these rocks. It'll be dangerous and, and deadly. We have to find a different way down. Maybe the front of the mountain on the ridge all the way down. But we have to find a proper way to get down off this thing. And we're talking thousands of feet of elevation gain and elevation descent. Um, both ways going up and down. So... It's gonna, it, you know, it's gonna be quite a journey. Uh, I've seen a lot of pretty wildflowers. I've seen butterflies, cicadas. I actually seen some fire ants. They're not supposed to exist on the west coast, but we seen them, and um, they were trying to bite me, and they were pissed off. And uh, so it's, you know, it's been an experience up here. No deer, no bear, but uh, there are things up here in these mountains. These are steep cliffs ahead of us. And um, this valley here goes right up over in the, in the Tahoe and the Desolation Wilderness. And anything could, you know, like I said, anything could be out here. And it's just, it's one of those things that we know he's here. Will we see him? I heard some strange sound earlier. It sounded like some, something was communicating. It was weird. Um, I never heard anything like that before. So... I think that they're aware we're in their country or their territory. It's, you know, this is an area very little people ever go to. This thing can roam freely for years and not be sighted. And it could smell a human and it could hide until the human, you know, clears the area. Anyways, it's time to take on off. It's time to finish our 200 feet more of loose rocks going through brush to get to the peak. We've earned our colors today. And, uh... These are, this is the personal journal of Lord Rick and the Paranormal and Ghost Society.